Hey everybody, Jason here. I thought I'd do a quick video today because my friends Gord and Ty Tessman over from 110% Racing, they sent me this wrench and it's a brand new wrench they've created for eight scale racing and they've done something that's really kind of cool. You know, every now and then you see an idea and you're thinking, dang, why didn't I think of that? Basically, I can't tell you how many times I've been taking wheel nuts off my eight scale buggy kind of in a rush and I ended up dropping one either on the table or even worse on the ground. So they came up with a really elegant, simple solution for that problem. Basically, they took a good old-fashioned, just a good old-fashioned standard eight-scale wrench, but look, they put a magnet in it. And then they took a high-end closed or covered wheel nut. They put this little set screw in there with a little nut in the backside, and check this out. Boom. Won't come out. That's genius. I mean... It, it is, it's funny that no one's done this before, but there it is. They did it. Now, this wrench is pretty cool. Let me just show you a couple other things that it does. I don't race a ton of eight scale, but I'm stoked to have this thing. Every now and then, like my buddy Randy back in Illinois, Randy, stop putting your wheel nuts on so tight. Randy would put the wheel nuts on so tight that I could like, I had to put the Vulcan death grip on there just to get them off. But what you can actually do, you can actually take this piece and you can move it down here to the end so that it's actually lengthwise so you have some serious torque for getting wheel nuts loose or I guess if you really want to put them on tight you could do that too and they've got this little piece and basically this holds the hex on the actual buggy that way you can take the set screw in and out for disassembling it so I, uh, I took a few pictures and I did a few close-up videos so let me show you those real quick and then uh, we'll wrap it up another cool feature about having this little open end if you're at a race and you want to change hub bearings or a drive shaft or anything like that, you break a hub. If you need to get this, this actual hex off of here, if you actually need to get the hub off of the axle, it can be a pain in the butt if you don't have a crescent wrench. And believe me, nobody wants to use pliers to hold onto this, but I see people doing it all the time and I cringe every time I do. So with the 110% wrench, you can just go ahead, put the hex on there, and now you can go ahead and get that set screw out without an issue. So that's just, you know, just, it's just nice to see things that are simple but work. One of the problems I used to have when I used a wheel nut like this that left the actual hex or the hub open was that if you ever race at a place that has a really hard, like a brick wall or a concrete wall or sometimes even wood, if you, if you go wide and this ever comes into contact with a piece of concrete, it can actually mushroom out a little bit and then you can't get this wheel nut off, which is a nightmare. So I've actually been in that situation before, which is why I never ever run open wheel nuts anymore. Now, if you have something like, obviously like this new wheel nut that comes with the actual wrench when you buy the 110% wrench, what it does is it actually, not only does it bite down a little bit better, but it actually protects the actual hex itself. So I'd much rather grind up a wheel nut or tear up a wheel nut than mess up the hex and then not be able to get the wheel and tire off. So that's a situation I've been in before and it is absolutely no fun. Okay, so there you have it. The new 110% racing eight scale wheel nut wrench, magnetic, has the open end, adjustable in length, uh, the cool magnetic wheel nuts. Uh, just overall, it's a cool idea. You know, Gordon Ty, they're pretty sharp. They're pretty sharp characters. And uh, honestly, Ty is probably one of the nicest pros you'd ever meet. If you're out there and you see him at a race, Feel free to say hi. Now, he's not the most talkative guy out there, but he is super kind, super nice, and uh, there's a lot to learn from those two. So anyways, here it is. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Hey, by the way, before you leave, I just want to say thanks again for watching my videos. I only make these videos so that we can have fun together. By the way, you'd be doing me a big favor if you could either comment, like, or even better, subscribe to my channel. Again, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.